Hello there, this is Dave Klein at yellowribbonjobs.com in Seattle, Washington. Wanted to talk a little bit about some do's and don'ts when you go for an interview. This will be brief. Look, one of the things that people like to do is they like to dress down. You know, if you ask somebody about what to wear, they're not going to commit to what they really want. They're going to say, well, it's okay not to. Do not ask that question. You go dress to the nines. And I don't care what the job is for, dressing up is always very, very appropriate, and you can't go wrong. It's kind of like teaching your kids to swear. There's never a good time to do it, and it can never help you. Dressing down would be the same way. Uh, then dressing up, you, you have to dress up. And if you're ex-military, the one thing you don't want to do is you really don't want to have significant uh, attire that's going to point to the, your, uh, your military You've left that behind, and now you're going into the civilian world, and therefore, you know, uh, dress appropriately to the civilian kind of things. Bring your resume with you in a folder. Do not offer it unless asked. The reason that you don't want to give it to somebody if they ask, unless they ask, is what will happen is they will look at that, and they'll spend more time looking at the resume than they should. Also, at this time, if it's a group interview, several people, make sure you get everybody's phone number, everybody's email, and try to remember something individually about them and respond immediately after you get out of that interview saying thank you for your time. That's very important and frequently that will get you the second interview. Try to limit your conversation regarding the research that you do on the company should be about the company. The job that they're offering is about the company. It's never about you. It's about what you can do to return investment, uh, net return on their investment. Their investment is in you for your skills. And that's what you want to do. You want to produce for that company in whatever capacity that you're hired for. So you should be talking about the company and the kind of, if you're being interviewed by the person that you'll work directly for outside of human resources, for example, make that about them as your mentor, because that's who you direct report to. You do not need to ask about money. Money can frequently come up by them. You should have done salary.com. I recommend that to everybody. You can go by geography and zip, and you can get a fair idea. There's three numbers there that you have to worry about, a high number, a low number, and a medium number. And that's about what your range should be. If you're outside of those ranges, you're too low or you're too high, and uh, you have to think about uh, basically what your needs are uh, and so on. So... Don't bring up the money. That'll be there. Besides, if you go to, uh, you shouldn't be able to get their benefit programs online. Most companies have that on their website someplace. If you're asked about your military experience, try to limit that. Uh, just briefly talk about it. If they're a little bit, you know, like left of center or right of center and they're a little bit crazy and they want to kind of get into detail and blow, blah, blow, just tell them you would rather not talk about that. Basically, what you're there for is to discuss the position. Do that as politely as you can. And that's a real easy thing. They will almost 100% assuredly respect that kind of a, of, of a limitation without being offended by it. Frequently, the people in the military do not like to discuss their military experiences. I hope this has been helpful. This is Dave Klein in Seattle, Washington. Thank you very much for your time.